My father is a metal sculptor and my mother is a clay artist and I didn't want to do either of that so I went into illustration but then decided I wanted to go into fine art and then eventually one semester there was only one elective available and it was clay and I was like oh I gotta take it. <laughs> I started with Judith and Bill here and throwing pots. And eventually, work started getting more sculptural, and then I got excited about clay. In the studio, I am always working on many pieces, so I have large, bigger than life size, figurative sculptures going on. And then at the same time, I work on the small wall pieces. I had a series of nightmares, sleepwalking, very active dream life. So there's always been the shadow the dark side in my psyche, which we all have. But there's just an intrigue with that dark and light. It's beautiful, it draws you in, and yet you're kind of like, oh, I'm not too sure I want to get that close. And then imagery, monkeys, I use them. Sometimes they're playful, sometimes they're scary, mischievous. You know, the, the sheep represented the female, more introspective, whereas the goat's kind of this wild male energy. and. So certain animals represent certain things. Then I realized, oh, I can dip fabric, and whoa, it worked, and the metal, and, and I'm still doing new things. Even right now, I'm doing stuff in the studio that I've never done before. So it's like a kid in a candy shop. It's an excitement.